So we're coming into Sunday evening and I've decided to make a start on the clutch on the Audi. While we're doing the clutch, we thought it was a good idea to put the battery on charge. Car's been stood for a few months and not been used and then it's come up to us and stood for a few more weeks. So it's always a good idea to charge the battery. It's come up straight away more or less at 83%. So it's not too bad, but obviously a good idea to put it on charge while we're doing the rest of the work. Now I don't normally do clutches, so I'm having a good look around this one. Um, I try to avoid jobs that are difficult. Um, not lazy, but I'm really busy in the workshop, so we've got plenty of work on, so I don't need to take jobs on where I'm having to lug gearboxes on and off cars, but obviously this has been the project car, I'm going to have to do it. So this is a 2 litre diesel, it's not a clutch that I've done before. Um, it turned out to be quite an easy one to be honest, but obviously I'm having a good look around the engine bay, seeing what I need to take off. Uh, I've been not done one before, I didn't want to dive in and um, start taking things off I didn't need to, but it turns out once you've got the battery tray out, you can pretty much see everything and it's a nice easy job. So as you can see, We've got the gear linkages off, tie that them up out of the way. Also got the battery tray out, basically stripped everything off the top. Now I'm going to take the starter motor off. Now when I said we'd take the starter motor off, I didn't expect to find what we did. Not looking good. Starter motor teeth are absolutely destroyed. So we're going to have to replace the starter motor on this one as well. The list goes on. Go underneath, unbolt the shafts, take the wheels off, take the shafts out. We should have the box off fairly quickly. Alright, I'm going to drain the oil out. Let's see what the oil comes out like. Let's hope it's not too bad. It's going to get replaced anyway, but... No metal filings in the oil, which is good. We've now got the gearbox off, and look at the play in that flywheel. It definitely needed a new one. So, we'll get the new clutch and flywheel fitted, get the box back on, and that's another job done. We've now got the clutch and flywheel back on, and the box is back on. I didn't get um, any video of clutch and flywheel with the box off because one of the lads from one of the units come down just to give us an hand to lift the box on and the box was on before I remembered to do the filming but the box is on and uh, we're just waiting for the new starter motor to land and then we'll get everything bolted back up and she'll be back down on the ground running with a good new clutch and flywheel in. We've mentioned before the teeth are totally chewed on the old starter motor so here we have a new one with nice new teeth on it so that's another piece of the puzzle done. Got everything built back up now. New starter motor on it, new clutch and flywheel in. Just got the top to build up. Wheels are in, shafts are in, all the bottom half done. Soon be built up and done. But it pulls all right and it doesn't smoke, so it's not a bad little car. Now I'm happy with the new clutch and flywheel, it's driving lovely. 
bit more work to do to it. Like I say, I've ordered all the seal kits for the calipers. Um, so we're going to take the calipers off and we're going to refurbish all the calipers and powder coat them. Um, the wheels are going to be reconditioned. I'm going to speak to our wheel guy um, in the next couple of days and see what kind of deal we can come to. I'd like to promote his business on our channel. Um, he does excellent work with wheels, so I'm hoping we can get something done with that. So we may have the odd video in this mini-series that's a sponsored video. Um, we're also going to be doing some bodywork on it. Um, it'll be a nice clean car when it's done. Um, plenty of life left in it yet. Um, the bodywork needs tidying in various places, but I need to do a deep clean on the exterior to see what needs doing. Dentman's going to come and do all the PDI work. Once the PDI work's done and I've given it a buff, then we can look at what needs doing. And we need a glove box because the glove box doesn't stay shut. That's annoying me. But it's driving nicely, so we're going to get back to the shop. And um, we're done for the day. And it's nice to have the car back done to a point where I can drive it again. It's stuck on my ramp since um, Sunday night. But we're getting there and it's not looking too bad at all. And it's driving nice, no issues. The rattle of the flywheel's gone. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll go through an MOT. For my OCD, we will be doing a wheel alignment on it. I mean, we'll be doing one anyway to make sure it drives nice and straight, but the steering wheel's slightly off to the right and that just plays havoc with my OCD. Right, that's us done for the day. We're back at the shop. Um, thanks for watching.